So when we bought this house three years ago, I had already started my soaping business. So when I saw this space here, which is the stairs that lead down into the basement, I was like, yep, sold. This is perfect for my business. And I think it's gonna be fun to show you guys what this space looks like. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a casual day in the life of an entrepreneur, someone who runs a business out of their own home type of vlog. And if that's something that you are interested in, keep watching. My business that I run out of my home is a soap and bath bomb business. So if you're on the same journey, then this channel is for you. And today is a pretty busy day. We have a few orders that I wanna unbox and talk about. We have packages going out the door. I'm gonna be making a few products. I need to make labels for things and it's just basically following me through a typical day. I love vlogging on days like this when the sun is just streaming through, everything is so bright. It is my favorite type of day to vlog in, so super pumped, super excited. Let's get this vlog going. <laughs> and before I begin, I really want to thank today's video sponsor, Ana Luisa. They sent me the most beautiful, minimalistic jewelry, and I just got them in the mail, and I am so, so impressed. When it comes to my jewelry taste, I really like simple jewelry. I am a really busy girl. I don't like a lot of flash. And when I do wear jewelry, I want it to be just a hint or a sparkle of something there. And I feel like this jewelry is perfect for that. And I got really, really excited about their necklaces because not only are they beautiful on their own, but they're designed so that you can actually stack them. So you can make a really adorable layered look. And that is right up my alley. This gorgeous jade pendant is called the Miche. The chain for the Miche is flat, which is super trendy right now. And that also means it should be super comfortable to wear as a day-to-day -day necklace. And you can see that this necklace looks so simple, but so elegant at the same time. So you can definitely wear it for your day-to-day -day activities and if you want a little bit more pop. You have such a huge selection of dainty necklaces to pick from. So I got really, really excited when I saw that I got sent more than one so that I can see what the necklaces look like layered. That is such a huge trend right now. And the designs on their website, it was so hard to pick which ones because they honestly are all so beautiful and cute. These two necklaces actually are sold together as a set. This is the Sylvia set. And look how adorable these pieces look and I am just so excited to layer this to see what it all looks like together. And I'm gonna keep the Miche on because I wanna see what it all looks like with the three necklaces stacked up. And here's everything stacked together and I am just in love. Look how adorable everything looks. If you just had the set, how perfect would that be for everyday office wear or even if you just want to look a little special if you work from home like me. And I'm so impressed with the quality of this jewelry at the price point that Ana Luisa is selling them at. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was so blown away by how gorgeous each of these necklaces look. I also picked out a pair of earrings and this pair is the Celeste. And if you take a closer look, one is a beautiful star and the other one is a moon. And they are small enough so that if you have two holes on one ear, you can wear them both on one ear and a different earring on the other side. But I think they just look so gorgeous. As I make more and more videos, I am starting to realize the importance of presentations. So I feel like little necklaces like these are such a perfect touch to finish off your outfit. I'm just so happy and impressed. And if you want pieces like this on your own, you can go check out the link in my description box below. They actually have a 20% off summer sale right now, so take advantage of that. 20% when it comes to jewelry is huge. And honestly, when I got these in the mail, I was blown away. And as a small business owner myself, I must make the comment about their packaging. This was the box that it came in and it is made from 100% recycled paper. And I just love how small it is. Perfect little box. And the envelopes that the jewelry came in are durable, well-made, and such a nice touch. Packaging is everything when it comes to business, and the pieces came beautifully packaged, well-protected. So if you order your jewelry from them, rest assured they will get to you perfectly all in one piece. Thank you again, Anna Luisa, for sending me these pieces of jewelry. I love them, and I am definitely gonna be wearing them throughout the rest of the video and in my future videos. So we have a few packages that we need to get out today. How many do you think we'll be able to get out today, Kale? Uh, I'm thinking five. So with those five boxes, you need labels, right? You need 
labels for yeah, soap? Yeah, I need, I need a couple labels for soap. I okay. Need orange with chili soap and rosemary mint soap. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. And then once I finish those labels, I'm gonna stick them on the soap bars and then we can get some of these packages out of here. <laughs> when it comes to our labels that we put on our products, I do everything in house. And the reason why is because I'm a bit of a control freak <laughs> and I am updating things all the time, whether it's launching a new product or updating the recipe a little bit. I need those labels to be as up to date as possible. So it doesn't really make much sense to have a printing company do those labels. And the program that I use to update my labels, create my labels is Photoshop. So these are my soaps that I'm wrapping today. This is my rosemary mint soap and this is my orange patchouli soap. These are my natural bars. I have them just colored completely with botanicals, clays, and powders that are natural <laughs> and I don't have any micas or dyes or anything like that and I have a line like this because I feel like there are people out there that aren't the biggest fans of the bright bright colors I also only have them scented in essential oils so there's definitely a crowd that looks for this type of soap specifically and I like to offer both I know that's not everybody's business model some people like to be just natural I've also noticed that in soaping groups as well that people seem to find a difficult time selling the fancy artisanal soaps to their customers because people think they're they're too pretty to use which I don't know I if I get a pretty soap I'm gonna use it <laughs> I like to feel special for those of you who watch Parks and Rec there's that treat yourself thing that Tom Haverford and Donna Meagle do and I'm totally all about that it's so important to treat yourself <laughs> And while I'm stickering these guys, I just want to quickly talk about the importance of taking some time for yourself and not working too hard because last week when I launched my boxes, I was so stressed out and so busy that I didn't do anything in terms of social media or my Patreon for days because I just felt just so overwhelmed with everything and the deadlines, having to get things out the door and feeling just drained emotionally. So it's so important to carve out that time for yourself and to remember that your body is tired and working and needs that me time. So a nice soap will help, but things like doing things you like that have nothing to do with your business is so important in my opinion. I'm also putting a label on our Lemon Shandy soap bars. And if you look at the very early beginnings of my channel, I posted a video on Lemon Shandy soap. So I've been doing this soap for a while. It's our very first hemp seed oil soap that we ever made, so it has a special place in my heart. I'm just in love with it. It's good to show you guys what I mean by artisanal versus more natural and rustic. So I'll show these two soaps together side by side and you can see the diff. So here is our lemon shandy bar next to our next to our orange patchouli bar. And you can see how the lemon shandy bar is a little bit brighter. This one looks a little bit flashier than this one. Although I do think our essential oil soaps are still pretty flashy. <laughs> So I have my soaps labeled and I'm gonna put them in their packages so we can get them out the door. But something super exciting happened right now. I just got my order in from Soap and More so I'll unbox that with you guys on camera so you can see what I got. And that is something that most soap makers, if you have a fall show or a Christmas show happening this year, get your supplies now because you're gonna find it's gonna be tough the closer it gets to Christmas because people are buying their supplies right now. We've had to stock up on a few things and I'm lucky that I got ahead of the curve there. The other day, the other day, Kale and I took a huge trip down to Mississauga where we went to New Directions Aromatics and picked up a huge order of supplies. We also dropped off products to our wholesale customers and that's always fun to do. We don't have to deliver it in person, but we like to because we like to keep that personal connection with our wholesale customers. And also we like to make sure that all of that product gets to where it's supposed to go safely. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it will get there safely, but we like the trip to the city in the, what's called the GTA area or the greater Toronto area. So it was a nice little day trip. It's always nice to get out of the house too. Oh, so this is some intense packaging from Soap and More. And it looks like they recycled another box to package our stuff in, which I love because I do that as well as a business owner. Hey Jiggy. 
I'm gonna box it here in my living room and I also have an order that I picked up from Windy Point. Some supplies that I will also be unboxing today. So I got a small amount of different dispensers for bottles. And I'm delving more and more into skincare, so I decided to get different kinds of packaging to make the products that I want to make. So for example, I have a 60 milliliter clear bullet bottle here, and I have different kinds of dispensers for the products that I'm envisioning making. So I have a, a black ribbed black spritzer for a fine mist, and bigger bullet bottles here. This is the 120 milliliter clear bottle. I didn't buy these things in large quantities because again, I'm experimenting. So it's best not to buy in giant, giant bulk of things unless you really envision yourself making a ton of that thing. And if you're just playing around and experimenting, keep the quantity small and I know it might not be the most profitable way of doing things, but it's so important to test, test, test and make sure what you're selling to your customers is the best quality product that you can provide. So after all of these bottles, <laughs> I have at the very bottom the ingredients that I got from Soap and & More. And again, these are small quantities because I'm just playing around with ingredients right now. Where did my, where did the Swiss Army knife go? No, here it is. <laughs> First thing that I grabbed out of the box is benzoin resinoid. And this is an exciting ingredient because it's supposed to smell like vanilla. I want to play around with adding a vanilla element to my products without using vanilla fragrance oil. And I hear benzoin resinoid is a good ingredient for that. You definitely pick up vanilla when you smell it. It's a very sweet scent, but it's also extremely thick. It's like maple syrup. I don't know if you guys can see that, but very thick. So I'm excited to play around with this ingredient. Next thing I see here is Fruit Acid Complex Eco Cert, and this is an ingredient that I picked up because I want to play with making skincare with more active ingredients. Here we have GeoGuard Eco Cert, Foaming Apple Liquid Surfactant, and this is an ingredient that I've been dying to play around with for so long, and I'm excited that finally took the plunge and grabbed it. I wonder if it smells like apple. That's the number one thing I've always been wondering about this ingredient because the name foamy apple just sounds so cute. Nope, doesn't smell like apple at all. <laughs> and for those who are unfamiliar with the term surfactant, that is an ingredient that causes foam and bubbles in your product. And I also have here, I got some isopropyl myristate. I got some Coco Simplex. I picked up some Olive M 1000 emulsifier. White willow bark extract. I have acne prone skin and I hear that this ingredient is excellent for targeting problem skin and really helps with blemishes. Also got some caffeine powder. I'm really excited to play around with this guy to make some nice, maybe an under eye cream. That's what I'm thinking about for that. I got some zinc PCA powder. This is another really great active ingredient for problem acne prone skin. And the reason why I'm making products that target acne prone skin is because my own skin is acne prone. And I'm fascinated with the idea of making my own skincare because <laughs> skincare is so expensive to buy. I got some beer powder. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but it's a cool ingredient. <laughs> I got some Sepamax Zen Polymer Powder. And this stuff gels your water-based products. This is a great ingredient to use for things like gel masks or gel serums. Right now I've been using Xanthan gum and it's been okay, um, but I hear really good things about Sepamax. So I decided to play around with that ingredient. And then here I have more Alkanet Root Powder. My bag of Alkanet Root Powder that I got from Kendora four years ago when I first started making soap is just now starting to run out and I literally bought like this much of it. And the last ingredient here is MSM Powder and really excited about this guy. Don't 100% remember what all of these ingredients that I bought does, <laughs> but I promise there was a reason. Um, I've been researching more and more and more into skincare and I just want to dive right in and play around. This order from Soap & More was a let's make some crazy things type of order rather than restocking on things that we need for the fall. But I'm really happy that this came in the mail and super excited to show you guys what I make with all of this. So let me 
put this all back. <laughs> this might take a while. Tell me you have a product making problem without telling me you have a product making problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next up, Windy Point. And Dempsey is coming in for a cameo. Oh, cool. So this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen Windy Point do this, but they have shredded up a U-line box and use that as padding for their own packaging. That is ingenious. Guys, always recycle your stuff. This is awesome. I'm glad Windy Point does that now. So I got a few things from Windy Point. I got um, two fragrance oils that I use for my regular product line. And I really like that Windy Point is now selling fragrance oils in one liter bottles because that is definitely something that I need now. And the last thing that I got from Windy Point is uh, an ingredient called Propanediol 1-3. And this is a really great ingredient to use in face skincare. It really helps your skincare products sink into your skin while leaving a really nice um, moisturized finish without feeling greasy or tacky. So this is why I wanted to invest in some of this because I've been using glycerin for my face skincare, but I want it to be a tad smoother. So yeah, those are the two big soap order hauls today and super glad they came in the mail because I was really running low on these guys. It's really fun getting those supplies in the mail, but now comes the annoying part of putting them away. And I will actually show you guys what my storage spaces look like because I haven't really shown you guys that before. So let's go take a look, put these ingredients and supplies away, and yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> So when we bought this house three years ago, I had already started my soaping business. So when I saw this space here, which is the stairs that lead down into the basement, I was like, yep, sold. This is perfect for my business. And I think it's gonna be fun to show you guys what this space looks like. So this is what my main storage area looks like. And these shelves were here when we moved in. So that was super convenient. And there's so many little cubbies and storage nooks just in this space alone, which makes this area so convenient for my business. And since we live in a really small house, every bit of storage space is so valuable and our house is definitely small. So not only do we have these really cool shelves over here, we also have these little doors, these little cubbies. And in this closed space here, this is where I keep all of my fragrance oils. Up here are my lip balm oils and they stay out of the sun here in this space which is being dehumidified by a dehumidifier downstairs right now so everything is cool dry and dark in this area which is perfect for storing your soaping supplies and over here are my essential oils in this weird cubby over here and here are some special ingredients that I have and some more special ingredients over here and not only did we have shelves cubbies but we also have these nice um, nails here so I can hang things. This little closet thing, which is really cool. And yeah, it's just a really handy space because you definitely want to try to be as organized as possible. You can see that there are so many ingredients in this room. It's been a lifesaver having a space like this. If I ever move, I definitely want to recreate something like this for the walls in my studio or the workspace that I have so that I'm able to put things away in a way that I can find things easily. I really, really love that closet space. It's amazing. Now I'll show you over here in our kitchen. We have a big pantry closet, I guess it's called. Let me tone down the brightness. It's a little crazy right now. But we have this pantry closet area and in here is where I keep all of the ingredients that that i currently have open and i'm using actively right now so we have our oils here we have our um emulsifiers clays waxes a few butters are up here as well and then some extras up there we have extra supplies down in the basement but i'm not going to show you that because it's dark and scary down there <laughs> we live in a hundred year old house and so the basement is more like a cellar and it's not the funnest to be down there. It'd be really nice one day to have a house that has a fully finished basement so that we can have a um, better storage for our stuff where it doesn't feel scary or cave-like. <laughs> but this is the space that we have for right now and we're happy with that. And I wanna show you guys real quick, I wanna show you these little shelves that I got from Winners. And I think you guys have a Winners in America, not too sure, but 
These are great because it adds another shelf so that you can stack things. I like to put my bath bomb molds here. Um, both my bath bomb press molds and my 3D printed hand molds and also my stainless steel hand press molds go here too. So it's a nice space to have all of my molds all in one spot. I really like that. I hope you guys like that really quick tour. Hopefully I can show you the rest of the house someday. Um, I'd like to show you guys because it's kind of a cool house. I mentioned it's over 100 years old so there's some weird quirks to it. So if you guys are interested in a house tour of where we live, let me know in the comments. Guys, we have an emergency. Oh so my gosh. We drink a lot of coffee around here. Yes. <laughs> and a lot um, of coffee. lately I've been noticing that it's been taking longer and longer for our coffee pot to, you know, produce a pot, which we usually do like eight cups or nine cups. Um, and this is all that came out. Today. No. I, pour, I actually poured a little bit in here, but it's like, it's gonna equal like a half cup. But I need coffee. So we're gonna take you guys with us to grab coffee at a local coffee shop here in Midland, or maybe we can try Cafe Kitty Hawk. What do you think? In Penetang. Wherever you wanna go. We decided we're gonna go and get grounded coffee today and grounded coffee is a really cute coffee shop in downtown Midland and we are huge fans of its coffee. Actually the owners of Grounded are also active board members of the Midland Farmers Market so that's a, another huge reason why I really like grounded coffee. And we brought Gibson with us. Uh, we didn't bring Dempsey because she actually gets really bad car anxiety and that's another reason why you won't see her too much in the cars because she'll just be crying the whole time. Let's go over the things I actually have to make today. I have to make heart-shaped love spell bath bombs for a custom order for a customer. And what other things do I need to make? I need to make more in-bed powder because I'm running really low on pink, purple, and blue. And is there anything else I have to make in terms of product or is that just it? Oh, you have to make sugar scrubs. I have to make Jordan Bay sugar scrub. Yeah. So it's, I need coffee. <laughs> he is so good at being calm in the car. And this is something that I wish we had done a better job with with Dempsey because she's, she gets a lot of anxiety when she's riding in the car and is never really settles down when she's in it. But this guy, he is a champ when it comes to car rides. And he's rocking his new collar, his banana collar, that he got from the folks at Biz Ferry. And he looks so handsome. Hey, Gibson. Oh. Oh, and here are the coffees. This is Grounded Coffee's signature green lid. Dark roast. Dark roast, large. It's very hot, but I'm so thankful to have it. We don't really put milk or cream or sugar into our coffees, we just drink it black. And I am so thankful. Thank you for going in there. Oh yeah. While I waited. This is a, this is a short term fix. Now we gotta work on the long term fix. <laughs> yeah, the coffee pot, we're gonna have to figure that out because we don't like buying coffees on a daily basis. That's something that, you know. It's a treat. It's a treat. So we definitely should figure out the coffee situation sooner rather than later because it is a staple in our household to have coffee. Now that I have my coffee, I have the energy to go and start making products. And the first product I'm gonna be making today are the heart-shaped love spell scented bath bombs that we're doing for a custom order. So I will show you what those look like once they are all done. I love the heart-shaped mold from the bath bomb press because it makes these adorable, perfectly shaped heart bath bombs. And these actually are the perfect size for party favors because they're not as big as the big rounds. I think they're about an ounce less. And the fact that they're a heart shape makes them really, really great for any special event you might have. These are basically just the heart version of our Love Spell round bath bombs that we sell on our website, which you can check out in the link below. And we also made with the extra bath bomb mix some minis, which we have discovered sell really well at the farmer's market. We can't keep them in stock which is surprising. I really thought that rounds would be the biggest sellers for us, but people really love these little mini gem-shaped bath bombs for their kids. It's a nice little add-on, kind of similar to the lip balms 
where people are ready to pay and then they see a little uh, bath bomb and they see that it's um, cheaper than the rest of the bath bombs and they're like, yeah, I'll just throw that into my order, so. And I think that's where I'm going to end this vlog. There's a lot of content I think that I have that's gonna make this video super long already, so. I think I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you again for Anna Luisa for sponsoring me. I had these pieces on for hours now and they are so comfortable. I almost forget that I'm wearing them. And this is well, when I'm going about doing my day-to-day -day errands around my house. I literally feel so comfortable. And even with these earrings, I'm usually really sensitive to earrings making my ears itch. And it's probably because I don't own a lot of quality jewelry, but these earrings feel amazing and they look so cute. And just a reminder that Anna Luisa has a summer sale going on right now where their products are currently 20% off. So take advantage of that by clicking the link down below and checking out their gorgeous, dainty, everyday wear pieces that just look so, so cute. So if you wanna check out my recipes and any extra content, I have a lot of that over on my Patreon and I have that linked down below. I wanna thank everyone who supports me on there. That community has been really, really supportive and amazing and I've really enjoyed uploading things up there and getting the feedback from you guys and engaging with you guys, especially my Bubble BFF supporters over here. I've linked some of their amazing businesses down in my description box below, so please check them out. You guys are awesome, thank you again. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and if you wanna see more, please subscribe. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep making beautiful things, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.